Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, Tropical Storm Francine forms in the western Gulf of Mexico, and we are still tracking two other disturbances in the main development region for possible development. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to TropicalTibbets.com for Monday, September 9th, 2024. The black arrows pointed towards Tropical Storm Francine, strengthening and forecast to become at least a Category 1 hurricane, potentially a Category 2, before making landfall with Louisiana Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then we have two disturbances in the main development region in purple and pink. Purple is also known as Invest 92L. And then we have a new tropical wave uh, coming off the coast of Africa in blue, which is going to merge with disturbance number two in pink. So here's our vorticity signature of our tropical storm, our two disturbances, and another tropical wave in front of Invest 92L, but that is not looking like it's going to develop. So here we have our close-up view of Tropical Storm Francine and the latest satellite image here. You can see it's trying to form an eye at the moment, looking very well organized, nice outflow on the outer edges with that buzzsaw look uh, starting to develop. So we have a very strong Tropical Storm strengthening. It's at 65 miles per hour now, moving north-northwest at 7 and we, this is expected to become at least a hurricane, most likely a Category 2 before making landfall with the central coast of Louisiana. Here's the spaghetti track guidance models showing where this storm could go over the next few days and how strong it could get. As you can see, Cat 2 is the top end on the models right now. Key messages from the National Hurricane Center regarding Francine. On the left is in English and on the right is in Spanish. You can pause this to take a chance to read it. Here's a close-up view of Invest 92L in the main development region. It's been sitting in this region for the past few days now, just stationary because we have a weak Bermuda Azores high, not really uh, strong trade winds to mo move this one out of the way. Uh, but it is not as organized as it was yesterday, so its percentage of uh, development has decreased. We're uh, at 60% over the next two and seven days for possible development of this system. Now it is expected to continue the move slowly to the west over the next few days and then around day five start to make a turn towards the north as Bermuda Azores High tries to start to re-establish itself but not before leaving a gap uh, for this storm to escape and avoid the islands hopefully. Now in terms of development, some of the models are suggesting, like we saw, a 60% chance of this becoming a Category 1 hurricane, and the others are saying barely a tropical storm, so we'll see which ones are correct. And then we have disturbance number two uh, on the left side of your screen here, uh, and it's going to merge with our new tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. So Disturbance 2 has a 0% chance of development right now over the next two days, but a 60% chance over the next seven days. So let's use the GFS model to show you how all this could play out over the next seven days. Black will be Francine, purple is 92L, and then pink and blue will interchangeably be Disturbance number 3. I mean Disturbance number 2, sorry. Here's the upper level environment. You can see the very well stacked upper level ridge over Francine that's going to allow it to rapidly intensify as it approaches the Louisiana coastline. Low wind shear environment throughout the rest of the Atlantic. And that's protecting those waves and disturbances from the Sanharan air layer. And they're slowly going to erode away at that as we go through the next seven days. So here's 24 hours from now. So Tuesday, September 10th, the peak of the hurricane season, and we will likely have Fran Hurricane Francine at this point moving its way north, northeast towards the Louisiana coastline. If we look at our uh, forecast model from 20, uh, 48 hours from now, and we can see how it's going to be moving up towards the Louisiana coastline 
very close to Galveston, but staying just to the east of it. And then our other tropical waves out there will slowly start to move to the west and also interact with each other in pink and blue, as you can see here. With the low wind shear environment still maintained out there, so you can see the Saharan air, brown, dry air starting to erode away from these tropical waves. So Wednesday night into Thursday morning is when we're expecting landfall from Francine. It looks like it's going to weaken a little bit upon landfall down to a 981 hurricane. Uh, so peak could be category two, but could weaken to the category one just before landfall. So let's hope for the best. And that's the case. Regardless of that, we're going to see a lot of rain from this system. So anywhere along the Mississippi River Valley, we could see upwards of four to six inches. Anywhere in those oranges, we're talking upwards of eight inches, especially around Louisiana and New Orleans. So flood potential is there, not only from the rain, but also from the peak storm surge. As you can see around Vermilion Bay, we're talking around five to ten feet uh, especially if this storm comes in anywhere where the storm comes in, expect that five to 10 feet surge to the, be to the east of that impacting eye wall. So by the time we get to day five now, which will be on Saturday, September 14th, the remnants of Francine will be moving up the Mississippi River Valley. So they'll be in and around the St. Louis region at this point. 92L will be about to turn towards the north in the Atlantic as you can see they're just to the north and east of the Caribbean islands and there's a break between the Bermuda Azores high one over the Azores and one over the northeast United States with a trough of low pressure in the middle so that's going to allow that to escape north there and if you can see we have low wind shear environments for both 92L and disturbance number two with another tropical wave in orange coming off the coast of Africa, but in a higher wind shear environment. So we don't see much moisture with that wave, but we do see disturbance too, trying to organize into potentially Tropical Storm Gordon, which would be the next name on the list, down to a 998 millibar low pressure system. And then a week from now, that system will still pretty much be out in the middle of the Atlantic, maybe move north, into the middle of the North Atlantic as we have that weakness in the Bermuda Azores High. If we look at the European model, we pretty much see the same thing, just a little bit more west, northwest movement of disturbance too as it moves through the North Atlantic instead of more of a slowly trugging northward track like we saw on the GFS model. But Francine pretty much in agreement with the GFS that we're going to go into Louisiana and up the Mississippi River Valley. So here's the ensemble models showing where all of our systems can go over the next seven days. So we'll continue to track Francine, likely to become a hurricane maybe as soon as tonight, but definitely by tomorrow. 92L. Chances of development are decreasing, so its best chances in the next couple of days. After that, it's likely to not going to have a good chance of a development once it starts moving north of the Caribbean islands. And then we have Disturbance 2, which will merge with our tropical wave and become one entity and either drift northward with a weaker Bermuda Azores high or go more north-northwest like the European model was suggesting. So we'll keep an eye on that if it becomes a threat to the Caribbean islands or not. Next name on the list would be Gordon if one of those disturbances tries to develop. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather. I'd like to give a shout out to Mary Ortiz for donating to yesterday's channel, so thank you very much. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you do like detail with the breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.